I want to welcome everyone uh, to the opening of the um, uh, Zocalo project. And uh, this, this, this project has a lot to it. There's been a bunch of people involved who've done a lot of good work. But like a lot of things that take a long time, this has a lot of really cool elements. It's about community development. It's even about local agriculture. It's also about supportive housing. It's about revitalizing downtown. It's also about investing in some of our historic neighborhoods, in this case, Barellas. So it's a very, very interesting project and a credit to all those who've been involved. And for us, you know, this is about connecting. That's what's so interesting about this project. It's a real bridge connecting downtown to Barellas. And that's physically where we are, if you're watching this. So it's sort of the lead coal corridor on this side, Barellas on this side, and an area that historically actually had been this sort of chasm uh, between these two communities and now it's a bridge. This is a step in terms of multi-use infill that works for the community on multiple levels. And so it's already in use in many ways, both in terms of housing and the wonderful uh, community agricultural uh, supportive work that's being done at this building. There's a cafe that's open as well. Uh, and it's the permanent home, finally, of the Borellis Community Coalition. This has been something that the Community Coalition has wanted for decades. And it also is our first permanent food truck park. And so you can check it out right now, Saturdays, midday Saturday, you can get your local agriculture and uh, get some hot food. And that includes open now in a COVID safe operating fashion. So it's supposed to be a one-stop shop for economic opportunity, job creation, and place making. So to hear more about it, uh, the uh, really uh, CFO of this project, one of the primary developers, uh, let's hand it over to Richard Yates. Richard. Uh, we're really proud of what's been built here. Uh, it's a multi-use. Uh, there's commercial on the first floor and residential on the upper floor. We can see that it's already changing the neighborhood for the better. There are more people walking on the streets, the commercial activities. So please come down and visit um, and support the uh, businesses that are here. Um, it's a slow step in the Burles neighborhood. It's, uh, them changing their uh, neighborhood back to a very active area. Um, we're so excited that all of you could join us here today at this project. It's been a, a long time coming, but I think the results are, are fantastic. Frankly, it's, a, it's really a place where people can gather in this part of the, the city. We want to do thank the, uh, uh, you know, the Burlesque Community uh, Coalition just that their participation and, and uh, we're excited. Like I said, this mixed-use project was designed to help help re-energize this area to make it more walkable. There's uh, beautiful broad sidewalks. There's an open area. There is, uh, as the mayor mentioned, food trucks coming, but there's also the uh, Borellas opens up the other side of the building because we've got roll-up doors. So it's very COVID friendly in that way uh, where they can have people and participations on the weekends. Uh, just uh, just found out this week that our, our last uh, uh, residential unit was leased and so we're fully fully leased in this area. We're just excited about the opportunities in this area. We plan on do more development in the downtown area to really help revitalize and bring a sense of um, you know uh, community and place making together. Uh, so I really feel on behalf of our organization at the BCC that we we're just excited to finally see this come about. Um, this was, for those of us who are from Albuquerque, uh, have, saw this as a vacant lot for so many decades, not just years. And so we have long really championed the development of this type of, uh, of location. Um, the Working with Zydeco and Richard Yates and, and envisioning this idea of creating La Esquinita, which is behind me, we're taking one part of the first floor um, commercial space. And actually, unfortunately, uh, not thankful to COVID, uh, our, our, our designs and our plans to have La Esquinita as a community marketplace, a community gathering space, a place for local um, organizations and entities to come and celebrate and be part of this gateway, this entrance to our wonderful historic community. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit of time, but what we have learned is that the weight makes it all that much better. So. Uh, in March, when the pandemic started really taking shape here, we were about ready to get this wonderful space. The BCC, as most many of you may know, uh, launched the wonderful rail yard market 
And we were trying to take our lessons from that Sunday seasonal market and try to bring it to a Monday, you know, Saturdays through Sunday uh, throughout the week, seven day operation, have opportunities for our local entrepreneurs, our food vendors, people in the cultural industry to be able to have a, a space that they could come and celebrate and be celebrated and make some money. And also to also help our community really celebrate itself because we are very passionate about what we contribute to this wonderful city. This is a public-private partnership that is reinvesting literally millions of dollars in the core of Albuquerque. And this is part of a suite of things that we're doing in conjunction with, again, the private sector, but also our city councilor for this area, Ike Benton. Thanks, Mayor. Thanks, everybody, for being here today. It's a, as the mayor mentioned earlier, uh, these, these projects uh, don't just materialize, they're a long time coming, and especially when we have a public-private partnership. Uh, there's more transparency required, there's a lot more community involvement uh, than, than a normal development project, but I think the proof's in the pudding right here of such a high-quality project. I want to uh, thank uh, the administration, Mayor, uh, Mayor Keller, and then of course our Metropolitan Redevelopment Agency, which uh, which has done so many great projects. It was just mentioned today in a meeting about how transformational the old Albuquerque High development was to that area. And uh, that's a, a mega example, and this is a more micro example of how we can do great community redevelopment and infill. And it's great to have new neighbors, new rooftops downtown, always a good thing. Um, uh, and this is on the course, really not downtown technically, but Borellis. And so, uh, a big shout out to the uh, community, uh, the Brothers community as a whole, which has had a vision over the years. During my time on the council, uh, the Brellas community was one of the most proactive communities in terms of what they wanted and expected from their sector plans and their planning and their goals for the future. Things like buying the rail yards was part of their sector plan when I came to office. And, and uh, we've taken a big bite out of that elephant, but then also great projects like this one. So, And we've got a Main Street, 4th Street is one of our Main Street projects, the state Main Street program. Very pleased to, to have that whole connection here. And we've done a bunch of good work on the streets as well. Let and call 4th uh, Street are all safer, calmer streets than they were years ago. And there's plenty of on-street parking. People, especially when the pandemic is over, but already people need to come on down. There's plenty of easy to park and, and to access the site and uh, support the community supported agriculture in Las Quinita. But I'm just proud to be a, a part of it and to see it finally come to fruition. So congratulations to everyone involved. You're the, you're the, or I'm the taller. Ready? One, two, three. All right. Oh.